What is the best paranormal experience you have ever had? Was walking up my stairs one morning when I was 16, I had just gotten up from a heavy sleep so I was pretty groggy. I had my big blanket wrapped around me like a cape, about one third of the way up the stairs I slipped and started to fall back. I thought oh no, this is gonna hurt. But it didn't, nothing happened. I felt like had been caught in mid-air but like someone had me around the wasp with two abnormally large hands. At this point I was fully awake, I couldn't feel anything under my feet and I was just a hint taller than I should be. I stayed perfectly still, not quite knowing if I had died or if I had fallen into another universe. But then I was moving up the stairs again, and gently landed at the top where my dog had been patently waiting for me. My dog was now looking behind me, tail straight, ears pointed, unwavering stare into the darkness that was the basement. I didn't turn around. I just nodded and said thank you and went to the living room to sit down. It was only then that I really realized what had happened. I wasn't scared or afraid, but I do say hello to the basement darkness whenever I can now. I was playing a multiplayer match of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. In the game there are doors that you can open and close. I was trying to open one of the doors and it wasn't working. I got a bit irritated and yell open the door. After I said that my bedroom door slowly opened. I got up and closed my bedroom door and said not that door. In the moment it wasn't scary, I found it funny. One night I was in my garage and my dog started barking. So I went to go check it out because they only bark when people come to the door. When I went inside the kitchen light was on even though it was off so I didn't wake anybody in the house up. So I said fuck it I'm going bed. Shut the light off and started walking to my room when I heard a bang in my garage. I went to check it out and the TV was on and the chair I was sitting on was tipped over on the other side of the garage next to a wall. My guess is that the ghost wanted to watch TV but when the ghost turned on the TV it was paid programming got pissed and threw the chair at the wall. Grew up in a hella haunted, old house. Weird little things had happened for years and years, noises here and there shadows and figures, as a young child my parents would find me in rooms by myself, talking to the blue shadow giant in the corner, I can still picture him perfectly. I could write a novel of the experiences in that house, but the worst one happened one of the last days I stayed the night there before we moved. It was an old house and the roof leaked, I was on the third floor, so I had some pots and pans on my floor to catch leaking water, the floorboards also shifted like crazy when you walked across the floor, so whenever anyone walked into the room, you'd hear the pots and pans clink as the boards shifted and they tapped each other. Anyway, one night I'm asleep in bed across from the entry to the room and I hear the clink of the pots and a footstep creaking the floor and wake up. I lay still for a moment and keep my eyes closed, when suddenly I felt the need to open them and standing over me was the shadow man I had seen as a child, with the blue hue and everything. He had huge broad shoulders and was like 7 or 8 feet tall. He didn't move, just hovered over me. I closed my eyes and pulled the blanket over me and he was gone. Next morning, I started to tell my mom and said I awoke to a man dash she cut me off and started to describe the exact man I had seen to AT. She's been seeing him for years too, we just never talked about it. When I was a young girl, my grandpa would always tease me about having long showers. After he passed, 
I was in the shower and saw a tap on the shower curtain. I looked out and my grandpa was there and said what are you doing? Bathing an elephant? I laughed and closed the shower curtain. It took me a good minute to realize that my grandpa had been dead for a couple weeks. I was really sad but also felt really lucky to have been able to see him again. I ripped a huge fart and heard laughter, I was the only one home. The first occurrence happened to my brother, he's adopted. He told me one day, he was looking out his open window. He heard a voice that sounded like his mom calling his name from our tree lean that we call our woods. His mom has been dead for a while. Second occurrence happened to my mom. She was sitting in the living room watching a movie, and she thought she heard my voice screaming for help from the shed outside in the backyard. I was in the bathroom down the hall from the living room. The third occurrence that we believe is hooked to the voice we had been hearing. Me, my brother, and his friends. We were all outside playing a game at night. I believe it was hide and seek. While my brother and his friend hid, it was my turn to seek. When I thought I had found my brother and his friends rustling around in this bushy area, I noticed out in the field, a white figure. I yelled for my brother and his friend. They came running from the opposite direction of the bush and the field. When I looked back, it was gone. I believe this has happened the night after. My brother and his friend were making a fire outside. When they left, and came back to it later. They said they had seen a white figure crouched down next to the fire. Not just crouched normally, but hunched. It turned its head, and looked at them. They both ran off, but when they looked back, it was gone. Since my brother moved away, all of these weird things stopped. When I was maybe ten, there was an odd discontinuity between my house and the next. Like if you ran between the houses while playing tag or whatever, you'd round the corner of my house by the living room. Then round the corner again. Then round the corner one more time and you're in the backyard, but my house was rectangular. Us kids all recognized there was an extra corner somehow but couldn't make sense of it. We were just slightly too young to realize how impossible that was, so all it did was make our hide-and-go-seek and tag games insane. All the neighborhood kids knew about it, and it became just another feature of the lay of the land. Late in that summer, I was being chased when I rounded that extra corner and bumped into a man coming the other way, someone I interpreted as some sort of handyman or yard worker with a strange mask on and wearing very heavy-duty clothing that hid everything. Legs, hands, neck, etc. Being Midwestern, I of course, said Ope and continued running past him. The kid who was chasing me was right behind me, but somehow didn't see him even though between the houses was just a narrow grass-filled stretch. An abrupt storm hit either soon after or later that afternoon, blasting wind through the yard like crazy and ending the game as we all shrieked and ran inside. After that, the extra corner was gone. I have so very many, but my favorite one to tell is our witching hour kitchen man. My dad's house is from the 1940s and typically has the usual creaks and moans of an old house. That being said there were other noises that were absolutely different. Voices heard cheering me on when singing to myself home alone, taps and knocks on my bedroom door playing skunk in the barnyard and other little tunes, the basement door opening and closing by itself despite being fully closed, latched, and having no circulation of airflow in the basement. 
However one of my favorite paranormal activities is our witching hour kitchen man. I rarely sleep before 4 a.m. most nights, and tend to get hungry in the middle of the night. One night, about five to six years ago I was going to the kitchen, all the lights are off, and it's about 3 a.m. I suddenly hear heavy, boot-like footsteps just meandering around the kitchen, and the rest of my family is completely asleep. I'm about to cross the threshold from the carpeted hallway into the tile kitchen and I stop dead. I ask if someone's there and I audibly hear the steps stop for half a second as if someone was caught off guard. Now, my philosophy with supernatural and paranormal is respect them and they'll respect you. So, I politely asked if whatever was walking could be quiet just so I could get a snack. Then, everything went dead silent. No footsteps, no hum of appliances, no wind rattling windows, no creaks, nothing. I walked across the kitchen floor, turned on the light, got my snack and turned the light off and left. Once I was back in the hallway I said thank you, you can do what you were doing again now. At that moment I heard a loud thud and a sharp heel strike on the floor behind me and the refrigerator started humming again. I still hear the kitchen pacer to this day every once in a while and I always ask to get a snack if I hear him.